This video is called One Week to Bhava. Results may vary. You could get Bhava in one week, but maybe not. Let's talk about it. There's a story in Bhaktivinoda Thakur's Jaiva Dharma about two devotees who heard from their guru, went home, chanted 64 rounds every day, and after a week they were exhibiting the stage of bhava, or the symptoms of bhava. They were on the stage of bhava, that's why they were exhibiting the symptoms of bhava in one week. And when you read that story, you can become very discouraged. It says, here I am, one year later, 10 years later, my case, 50 years later, where are the tears when I chant? Where's the melting of the heart? Where's the standing of the hairs on end? Where's the choking of the voice? Results may vary. But what's beautiful about this is that it's possible, even in one week, if one takes the holy name, purely one could arouse bhava. Now, how is that possible? Well, because bhava, or love for Krishna, is our purified nature. So if the purification goes very quickly, or if one has been advanced in the past, then very quickly he can come to the stage of bhava. It's possible. Now what you find in the Shastra, they say that many things are possible because they have happened to different devotees at different times. But then they say results may vary, just like here's a medicine, you know, put this on your head, your hair will grow back. Results may vary, yeah. Right, it's gonna work, right? Well, for most people, probably not. Maybe one hair will grow for someone. The results may vary. So it's the same idea. So the potential is there. Now, when I heard this, I thought, if in one week they achieve bhava by chanting, then my chanting must not be very good because I'm still working on it. And that's a fact. And so every day that goes by, but we don't chant as well as we can. Yeah, we're another week away from bhava, or another year, or another decade, or another lifetime. I've always found it very, very inspiring to think in terms of that Krishna consciousness is not something we're creating, it's something we're uncovering. So how could they get to bhava in one week? They did the uncovering a lot faster than most people. It's there, it's not like we're creating bhava, you know, we're mixing it up. We're going to try to do it in a week. It's taken me 50 years. I'm still mixing. No, we're not creating it. We're uncovering it. So think in terms of uncovering. And then when you think, oh, bhava in a week or bhava ever, it seems so distant, if not impossible. No, it's not impossible. It's just what you are. That's your nature. It's just uncovering it. You're not grabbing it from somewhere else. It's not out of your reach. It's within you. And so that's inspiring to think that way. Sometimes we think, I can never be a pure devotee. I can never be this or that. You can be. You, not that you can be. You already are. You just have to uncover it. So don't think, I can never be a pure devotee. Think in terms, I already am. It's just covered. I need to, again, uncover my purity. And that's a very inspiring way to think. And it gives us more enthusiasm and more hope that maybe next week, Bhava, if not next week, maybe the week, maybe by John Mustami will achieve bhava, maybe by, by radostomy, maybe it's gore pornima, who knows, but don't give up. It has happened. It has happened to devotees. They've gotten it in a week. Results may vary, but keep, keep working on it. Hare Krishna.